jiggity shit. It's not even time for the show. I don't know what I'm doing. It's it's time uh, for me. It's just it's just me, your good pal, Doctor Fox, here with another. I feel like it's been a while. Probably another an annual state of the cube address. And uh, thank you guys. I appreciate that. If you're listening live right now, then you're probably the only ones that are ever going to hear this. I don't see why anybody would ever want to catch up. But, yeah, we're ramping up here at Hypercube, and it has been quite an experience this year. So, uh, let's just take a quick review. Last week, episode 86, if you include the seven uh Season Zero episodes push up around 93, maybe 94. I don't know how many we've done at this point. I, I mean, why even bother counting? Seems like a just a waste of time, in my opinion, counting. But for record keeping, I guess, yeah. Oh, yeah, I heard that one. That one was on the list. So, let's go over where we're at. Last week. Fitting for episode 86 that Hypercube was on its last dime. And thanks to the uh, contributions of the show society, uh, Hypercube is alive and kicking. And you have no one to blame but yourselves. Uh, now, Guru Drew and Hazel of the Windmills and Reverend Trenchy absolutely blew the lid off of what we were we were trying to hold down and that was phenomenal we uh i don't know if you know this but it it costs money to do some of these things as ridiculous as that sounds and without those funds that come in on the patreon i hope straight up we wouldn't be doing this show it's not just an incentive to keep doing it because everybody is listening. I I love that people want to listen, and I absolutely adore, from the cockles of my heart, all of you that that have pitched in and saved Hypercube for yet another year. And uh, some people might want to say that you know this isn't that this isn't hard to do, but I've I have I have scheduled. Every Monday night for, for, for over the past year now, uh, coming up to two years in just a few weeks since the inception of time for the show, about mid-November is where we kicked it off with the early episodes. So what's happened in the past year? Of course, we had uh, you know people like Reverend Stang and Philo Drummond came on. Uh, we had Pease's friend Chris came on, who was a great guest, by the way. And I'm trying to remember any of the other guests that that came on. We had Riley from Antisocial Engineering came on, and he's blowing it up. He's already on nationwide tours with The Dick Show. And uh, all I got is a show with dicks. And we lost a dick earlier this year. I mean, it's been about three or four months now, maybe longer since uh, we bid a dually to old Fid Chuli. And uh, he, he showed up in the chat every once in a while here or there. And, uh, you know, there's, there's some things I still need to take care of in that department. But that aside, we kept going. When Fid left the show, I didn't know what to do. I didn't feel like I could do time for the show by myself. And Pease really stepped up and uh, really started committing even more to doing time for the show. Uh, When Fid took off, Caller23 was here practically every week on the microphone. And coming over here to the studio, Indica and Reverend Codeine have shown up just about every week for time for the show since we moved over here to Hypercube 3. Which, you know what they say about 3. It's 2 more than 1. And about 10 less than 13. So we got a while to go, I guess, before we get to an unlucky Hypercube location. 
And that is something that's going to have to happen because also this year, my wife spat a baby out of, I didn't even know she had one of those. But yeah, baby time. And uh, that has been quite an endeavor. So not only has all of the responsibility for time for the show fallen onto my greasy, greasy lap, which is my fault, I know, but towels be damned. We uh, we kept it going. Uh, Apostix for Nord would uh, really uh, give me a lot of morale boosting. And uh, a few weeks ago, I did a uh, Monday morning cancer over on Facebook. Now, I'm not really big on Facebook, primarily because it is it is just too big of an echo chamber. That's what's so great about Time for the Show. It's an echo chamber that is just the right size, that the only voice I ever hear coming back is my own. And that makes things a lot easier. So, looking at the finances, the server cost $111, and that was not even including the domains. So, it cost about $200 just to take care of the domains that we have, and the web space and the hosting that we use. And uh, I used to have a subgenius web host. They were great. And unfortunately, they just couldn't, they couldn't keep it going. And I understand that it, it is an endeavor to do any kind of web hosting. And it, it costs money to do this. This is a, <laughs> this is a rough outfit. But uh, with that, we are also able to keep subgeniuses dot com running and uh man that is great we're gonna bring on uh, bring the music back down a little bit there there we go you just sit there in the background background music so subgeniuses.com is still there and of course we now have a, a new addition there which would be reverend richard negative who hosts negative at night thursdays at 10 30 live on freethinkradio.com so, I appreciate every ounce of help that we've gotten so far. So, thank you, everybody. You know, Dr. Ellis is not just curating Freethink, but running it, and then he gets that SOCAN license, which is, uh, I, don't, I don't know if I can, I should say essential to the function, but when there's no live shows, it's all music, all day. And it's copywritten as hell. So if you got an extra couple of bucks in your pocket after helping out old Dr. Fox, don't forget to uh, check out freethinkradio.com and uh, check out their Patreon, that wonderful site that Guru Drew set up. Let's move on to them, Triology Soaps. Well, I know we got a good chunk of people that uh, started slinging uh, money towards Triology Soaps. To, uh, to get that soap running. And uh, I've been speaking with Ferg and off and on for the past couple of weeks. Yeah, we're working on it. And the Hypercube soap is on its way. I have to eventually go tweak the nipples on old Dr. Cosmac and uh, see about what we're going to do about getting the Hypercube molds done. I was looking at something like a little hockey puck shaped bar of soap. Is it a bar if it's round? I don't know. It's got a top and a bottom, but it's only got that one big edge. But getting like a, a hypercube soap going, and uh, I guess the crazy like a Dr. Fox soap uh, <laughs> is is in production. I don't know whether they're going to do both or just one. I'm not going to ask them to do anything. Of course, I would appreciate anything that they made. And of course, we can put those banner ads up. So already this network is growing. Triology soaps blowing up. I mean, they're sold out. But that citrus blast soap. And and those Dobbs bars are beautiful. You know, I've seen everybody's pictures. I haven't gotten my soaps yet. And that's just on me. That they've offered over and over again. And I just it, it takes me a while to get back to everybody. So there's all of this going on. We got Free Think. We got Triology Soaps. We got Richard Negative on Thursday nights. And uh, Martha Artha doing uh, a Kitchen Table with Doc Ellis. And they have guests on there. So we got new shows coming. From the Phone Losers of America, we have 
Party Time with Matt and Zax. Laugh Track Max. <laughs> Max. Laugh Track Matt and Zax Intel. It's a prank call show where they also just kind of BS with each other. It's fun. I find it amusing for me, especially when they start just talking about telephones and things like that. So uh, I talked to Dr. Ellis earlier. I think uh, Wednesday nights is going to work out for them. And Laugh Track Matt is going to come on and be a show guest, a time for the show guest. And that will be next week on the 14th. We got guests coming on time for the show. And uh, we've got a couple. We've got uh, Joshua Rogers from the Micro Cassette label. Uh, not micro cassettes, but the, a mini label that does cassette tapes and other forms of media. And uh, you can check out Illuminated Paths. That is the name of the label. And Joshua Rogers will be coming on. Uh, we'll be talking about that. And Danny Feedback of Danny Feedback's Crack Rock Opera will also be joining us. So uh, starting next week, the rest of the month of October, not this week, but next week, we're going to have a guest every week. We're already reaching out to people for November and starting to line this up. So if you have an idea for somebody, uh, we've, we've reached out to a couple of people. We're waiting for them to get back to us. And, you know, it takes some people a while. But, uh, in fact, let me see right here. We might have gotten one in here during the show and of course the bandwidth is just it's thick uh okay so that's not a confirmation they're waiting on a confirmation tomorrow right before the show i have to drive up to uh northern central florida uh to go pick up a uh a new trinitron tv can i get an f in chat if you're listening for my trinitron because god Damn it! That was heartbreaking for me. I've had a rough couple of months, folks. And uh, I can tell you, after uh, what I what I went through about a week before, coming home, you know, I, I hit the power on the Nintendo first. And then I reach over, I see the power button come up. Because I like to get the signal rolling before I get the tubes going. Keep that click from happening. And uh, my Trinitron burned out just right there in front of me. And according to the uh, to the instruction manuals and, and troubleshooting codes, that TV is fucked. And I've had that since like 1996. And I love that TV. Uh, and so now I have to bust down <laughs> a whole door. But I got confirmation from uh, the boys in Titan, TTN, that they're going to help me go get this TV. So I have to go up to uh, a 74-year-old electronic engineer's house. The the poor guy's had a heart attack. Says he's been dead four times now, and he needs somebody to move this TV and uh, has offered to give it to me for free. So I'll be going up to the villages tomorrow to pick up the TV. With that, I might be a little late tomorrow. So, uh, you know, it might be uh, might be a little late, but I don't want to just call off the show. But I've got I've got like an hour out there and an hour back, and I won't be leaving that way until 6 p.m. And that's gonna be that's gonna be tedious. And around 9 p.m. over here at the Hypercube is when people start coming up. Now I was talking to Reverend Trenchy last week. Great guy, sub genius is all hell. Uh, Counter protested the Subgenius deprogramming session live at Uncle Lou's Entertainment Hall in Orlando, Florida, just a few years ago, and uh, he was the one that, uh, during the protest, brought me the bill for the protesters that I was to give to Reverend Stang. And you know what? I never heard back from him on that. But caller twenty three says he'll be here tomorrow. Now Pease will be here tomorrow. He is with family tonight, and we were going to have a little talk about what's going on with the show and what the state of the cube is. Uh, I'm looking at the chat. I'm sorry, Reverend Negative. I haven't heard the song yet. I literally got out of work an hour ago. I got in the door at Hypercube at 10 p.m., put in that I'll do a state of the cube at 10.15, which uh, worked perfectly because Hazel was like, is it show yet? Well, it's not show yet, but maybe this will count. Uh... 
Uh, are you counting? Are you taking a shot every time I say, uh? So, yeah, alongside that. Uh, so, Illuminated Paths covers Titan's music that, that goes out. Titan and I are working on new material. Now, I've written songs with them that are going on uh, to the to the new shows. And according to uh, one member of Titan, we're doing They Might Be Giants covers. I'm not going to tell you which ones yet. But if you're in the Central Florida area, in November 8th will be my next show with Titan. And hopefully they'll let me know uh, as more come in because I got to request time off from work. Doc Fox got a new day job because as much as I love slaving away here at Hypercube, unfortunately, this is this is my, my labor of love. And love is expensive. I don't know if you've ever been in love before, but it, it's not free. It's never been free. From the earliest days of man, never been free free so we'll work on that and uh of course i've got mondays secured they're not going to schedule me on mondays so i'll always have time for time for the show so we've worked on everybody coming in caller 23 is having movie night tonight uh caller 23 has been a tremendous help as well this mixer that lets me do this with the sliders on it has been a tremendous improvement on how we do the show here. Uh, Reverend 80, that got me the sound effects machine. Because we know you love that one. (laughs) Yeah, the sound effects machine. That was a a good haul from Skycraft, my favorite surplus store in Winter Park. And on top of that, just all the work that Dr. Cosmac has put forth, such as the 3D models of the Hypercubes, and officiating is it a band along with Scalpod? I can be here all night just telling everybody about how excited I am that I have such a great network of people. And uh, uh, Martha Arthur and Dr. Ellis on Freethink Radio, we could do, we, we could not do this show without Freethink Radio. It would not have happened. Because if I feel like if I had just put it out week after week and just dropped it on a blog, Uh, Someone would click here or there. This is fantastic. And if you saw in the serious chat room the other night that uh, the stickers are working. So if you got those stickers, those those great decals from Caller23, he ordered those. He put put Hazel and Scalpod's art onto stickers and mailed those out. That was all on him, and I didn't ask him to do it. So, by all means, uh, say thanks to Reverend Caller23 for me. Things are turning around here. Not only have I found a slack fucking job that pays me literally to stand around and take money from people, but of course, you know I'm not going to get into that with you over the radio. Uh... It's, it's, it's been a blast. Dr. Purge showed back up. I had not seen Dr. Purge in five years. And uh, major changes for Dr. Purge as well. It's, it's, it's great. Matthew Bertram in the chat. I know. I bet now Matthew Bertram knows Joshua Rogers with Illuminated Paths. And uh, I'm so excited for all of this. It's, it's moving. It's moving forward and it's not just moving forward it's moving up and uh, being the hypercube it's also moving back a little to the left simultaneously to the right and inwards as far as outwards as it will go so this is this is just a big deal for me that i'm finally getting some of these weights pulled off of my shoulders and just stapled back to my ass cheeks which i'm fine with because i'm tone i got a fit cheek I've, I, I'm just so relieved. Now, right now I'm going up against uh, Phineas Narco and a live broadcast of the National Cynical Network, which, why are we not doing that on Freethink Radio? I know we play NCN on the list, 
But we should, he should just do a live show. If he's doing Sunday nights, he should just broadcast it live on Freethink. But whatever. Can't argue with that. So many things that have been coming in. And everybody's helping out. Everybody has been helping out. Uh, Agent Lloyd and Ferg and, and Guru Drew and several others that are on Facebook have been sharing the posts on the page. And, and you know, it, it helps so much when you hit that like button. And it seems so trivial. Eh, why bother? I'll tell you why to bother. Every time somebody hits a like button on one of those posts, it propels us by, I would say, at least 20 to 30 more people seeing that. Because your friends are going to see it. They're going to see that you like this, and they're going to check it out, which is how this has been growing. And as we grow, I want to give credit to all of you, which I do every week, just reading off of the Patreons and going through the chat list and stuff like that. But when you take a, if you stick a sticker up, make sure to take a picture of where you put that sticker up and send it to me so I can put those up on the website and make other people want to do that. Getting new stuff for the store. We're going to do the sticker packs. We have plenty of sticker packs that'll go out. Uh, in about two more weeks, the, uh, the next batch of uh, reality augmentation stabilization decals should arrive. And uh, I'll just, you know, I'll mail some of those out. Now, uh, Collar put together a, a more complete list. And I will continue building that list and sending those things out because it's, it's more my appreciation. But uh, when a- anytime you make a meme, I try to save it. You know, I, I feel like I'm, I-, I get to sit in that stang chair and see people take something that I've made and repurpose it and remix it. And there, there's nothing more satisfying than that because uh, now that now that I've started something, you know, I'm not going to sit back and watch it grow. I'm going to keep this moving as long as I can. And one day it may take off and do its own thing. But everyone has been fantastic. So invite your friends to come over to the Discord. Subscribe to the podcast. And let's just check in where we were at because I know uh, the Patreon came in the other day. And of course, once again, because I deleted my... (laughs) Deleted my cash. Always wants to re-verify all of this crap. So let me just take take a moment to pull that up. I have to keep talking to avoid dead air. It's It's not a first time login attempt. I've been in here. Come on. For the love of Grobnar. We're at $92 a month, everybody. $92 a month. And after Patreon takes its cut, let me just take a look over here and see where we were uh, at. And I'll let you know exactly how much I pull after Patreon takes their cut. Now, some people like to argue that... uh, that they don't want Patreon to take the money. They 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 want me to keep all of it. A large part of the Patreon, though, shows other people that are coming to it that, that, that people are interested in it. And while I'm always ecstatic about getting something dropped into the PayPal.me forward slash Doc Fox, uh, the Patreon is just it's another form of social media so out of that ninety one dollars we made eighty three dollars and seventy seven cents so it would it would take going past a hundred dollars to make a hundred dollars and that that makes such a a critical difference in my pocket because if I didn't I don't I don't play a lot of hardcore bandwidth sucking games but I do a lot of uploading, and we have a we have a 200 megabit download. And we have like a 10 megabit upload, and that costs over a hundred dollars a month for that. And last week we did a simulcast test with uh, with with time for the show, 
where we broadcast over YouTube and freethinkradio.com. Here's something neat. The remix that I played before tonight's show, as well as the last couple of shows, which is a mashup of the Time for the Show song by Kerry Roberts and the theme song to Pop Team Epic, actually got pulled off of YouTube for a copyright violation. And not just pulled, it was blocked by King Records in Japan. So if any of you enjoy Pop Team Epic, I encourage you to not pay to see it. I love the show. I think it's one of the best Aminés ever created. And uh, there's so much more involved. What else do I have going on? I'm involved in the WarioWare Gold reanimated project. I have a scene in that that I'm animating. I've got the work with Titan coming up. I was going to try and get something into Mike and Spike's uh, Sick and Twisted Film Festival this year. I just I didn't have time to get anything together because when I'm not taking care of that baby, that babby, yo, it's it's spent working on anything else. I've had a couple hours here and there for some video games to to relax, but I don't even have any frop. This is now week two of no frop for Doc Fox. So I'm jonesing, y'all. I'm jonesing. Doc Fox needs his frop. So anybody coming to the show tomorrow, help a doctor out. I really don't know how much more that I have to go on, but uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to keep as busy as possible. If we can reach, as Hazel mentions, 130.13, that would easily cover the internet. And uh, after that, we can start putting money towards the power bill. And the the hypercore itself is is the staple on that power bill. They love it when I run this computer. And we we've had I've had to buy new equipment for it. I needed a new monitor a few weeks ago, and that came out of the Patreon fund. So if it wasn't for you guys, I'd be looking at a monitor that is like half dissolved now. Literally just pixel by pixel creeping across the screen going out. So I couldn't have even seen what I was doing when doing time for the show. And we got a got a lot of hardware that's coming in, and uh, I'm trading a graphics... I'm trading a, a, a Mac tower from like 2005 with Synfaldimus, uh, Synfaldimus Ex Mortis for another video card, and the video card requires a power supply on my computer that is about 75 watts more powerful than the one I have now. So I'm still I'm still boned. As, we, as I keep trying to move up, this is where I'm at, you know... But hopefully I can, as, as things balance out for me and, uh, and paychecks are more regular, I can afford to do more. But I want to do more. And I want to increase the production value of the show. Like last week we did the security camera. That's one camera. And I'd like to have three or four cameras here in the studio so when we have a guest present in the studio, we can have a camera on them, have a camera on me, and then uh, maybe we can put the chat up. So this is stuff. So if you have equipment that you want to donate, USB web cameras, power supplies, anything like that, just sitting around, you throw it on a throw it in a box. Hypercube Labs, PO Box 4304, Winter Park, Florida 32793. I'm broke, y'all, but we're set. We are set out of the gracious pockets of the best subgeniuses. I don't know. They might actually resent hearing that. Okay some subgeniuses because I don't know how they would take it if I call them the worst subgeniuses because really the worst subgeniuses are the ones sending money to people that aren't Bob I know Cosmac gave me a remix sounds like uh, Negative has done a song for me if you got a song or something that you want to submit go ahead and send me a link over here on the discord or send it to my email Dr. Fox D-O-K-T-O-R-F-A-U-X at gmail.com. I know I have Fox at time for the show. Send it to my Gmail. For the love of Christ, send it to my Gmail so I can move everything over to my drive. It's just easier for me. And uh, I'm I'm excited about all of this. So if you have ideas for uh, people to bring on, if you want to invite someone like, hey, you want to go do time for the show, talk to Dr. Fox. He does this 
ridiculous two-hour live radio show every week. Episode 87 tomorrow night. I can't believe it. I really can't. And I remember talking to Fit at the beginning. I said, if we could just get to 10, if we could get to double digits, and that feels like it was two years ago. And then when we hit episode 50, I was ecstatic. I couldn't believe that we had done 50, and now we're inching up to 100 episodes of time for the show. And it's time to take off with it. It's. I think we have something here that people enjoy listening to. They obviously enjoy it because they're they're throwing cold hard cash at it. And I'd like to throw stuff back to you. I've got a couple sellout con shirts, so I need to reach out to a few people, see what size shirt they'd like, and uh, next uh, next batch of t-shirts that we have come through, I'll send out a few extra ones. This is a uh, a major. A major shift in how things used to go. And it went from begging to help us start out to begging to keep us going. And if you don't have a dime to your name, then you should sell whatever device you're listening to this on right now because shame on you. Or you can go to Hypercube Labs on Facebook and go to timefortheshow.com. And check out the Facebooks there, the Twitter. Give us a like. Give us a follow. It's uh, it's essential to help us growing. The more people that can do something as trivial as hitting the like button propels us down the alleyway. And I, I'm, I'm just glad that everything's working out. I'm glad that Pease is stuck with us. I'm glad that I have so many people that come on all the time and join us and don't say hello. And uh, so, yeah, new shows... Coming to Freethink Radio Wednesday nights. Party time with Matt and Zach's. Negative at night on Thursday nights, also on Freethink Radio. If you want to do a show, do a show. I'll support you every way you can. And if you want a free blog on subgeniuses.com, or if you want an at subgeniuses.com email address, I can set you up a, a web mailbox. Or I can just forward it to your current email. Send me a DM. Slide into my slick DMs, yo. I'll give you a free email address. I'll set you up with a blog. You can check out mine. Subgeniuses.com slash DocFox. For DocFox House of Chop. And uh, check out Titan's new work that's coming out. Remember, we got that write up. So, uh, things are moving in every direction for me. And hopefully... I am approaching this being the last job I'll ever have to take outside of Hypercube. Regardless, it's kind of the easiest way I've ever made a paycheck. I, I really like it, and the people there are great. And it's it's just, I, I don't know any other way to say it. I'm ecstatic, and I'm full of static. With that, this has been the Hypercube State of the Cube Address. And you are entirely responsible for it. You terrible monsters. You god-awful heathens. I I don't know any other way to put it. You're fucking up. And you might you might be closer to fucking up harder than you ever have in just just a matter of minutes you I'm talking to you it's disgusting so put your money where my mouth is head over to patreon.com slash hypercube paypal.me forward slash doc fox and if you're not on the mailing list if you didn't get stickers reach out to me so I can get you onto the mailing list this has been uh, Dr. Fox live from Sub Basement 27 in the heart of Hypercube. We'll see you soon. <laughs>